Hello and welcome to semi-finals day at the Porsche Tennis Grand Prix in Stuttgart. And what a sensational lineup we have for you. Three of the last four have been in this round before, and one of those players has won the title three times before. And of course, that player is the player in your picture, Maria Sharapova. The Russian has been in scintillating form since returning from a doping ban this week. Can she continue her surge and reach a fourth final here in Stuttgart? Standing in her way, though, is a player who has been in fine form, not just this week, but throughout 2017, Kristina Mladenovic. She may be the only player out of the four not to have reached the semis before in Stuttgart, but she is oozing confidence right now and seeking a third final of the year. Peter Rogers and Tina Krizan in the commentary box for this one. Tina, we should see a fair few winners in this encounter. Yes, we sh certainly should uh, and will. Both players are very uh, aggressive and um, they have showed a great, great, some great game uh, throughout the tournament. Uh, Mladenovic is in great form. She has won a tournament this year, her first WTA tournament. And Sharapova is, is back and is playing incredible tennis. Alison Hughes, the chair umpire for this encounter. Yeah, both players have really marched through the draw with real confidence. They're both yet to drop a set, so something has to give in this first semi-final. So Sharapova selecting gold, which wasn't too surprising, <laughs> and also uh, winning the toss. And uh, then having won the toss, uh, saying she will serve first. So just underlining how confident she is feeling, and that's been a key part of her game in her progression through to this semi-final, the serve. She's adjusted the ball toss and seems to be working for her. And this should be a really tasty encounter. Kristina Mladenovic taking on Maria Sharapova in the semi-final of the Porsche Tennis Grand Prix. And this is how they have got to this position. As you can see, they're really fine quarter-final performances. Not too much fuss from either of them. Mladenovic getting past Suarez Navarro 6-3, 6-2, but she beat Angelique Kerber in the round before that, the world number one. And Sharapova yesterday also uh, getting past uh, the talented young Estonian, Annette Kontovet, who put up a good fight and uh, almost came back in the second set, but Sharapova able to find a way through, winning that quarter-final, 6-3, 6-4. Defeated uh, Makarova before that and then Vinci in her first match before then. But uh, today she's facing a top 30 and a top 20 opponent for the first time since that drugs ban. And that player is uh, Kristina Mladenovic, 23 years of age, currently ranked 19th in the world, but she's going to go past her career high ranking of 18 after this week. Having reached the semi-finals here for the first time, she actually had uh, never been past the first round before in Stuttgart. But she's had an excellent year, hasn't she, Tina? Is in you know won that first title in St. Petersburg, and almost since then hasn't looked back. Runner-up in Acapulco, semi-finalist in Indian Wells, was brilliant in the Fed Cup too. And is it just confidence, or have you seen things in her game change for the improvement? Well, it's probably both. Uh, she she works on her game all the time. She she worked a lot on her movement. Uh, she's very tall, so that sometimes can be a, a bit of a problem with, with taller players, the movement. And especially on clay, one needs to move really well. 
so she's worked a lot on that and she's improved her movement uh, she's yes working on all the shots as well but I think mentally she she looks calmer she uh, she looks more composed she looks yes motivated and confident it's all all comes together <laughs> and of course there's been a lot of uh Media around Maria Sharapova this week returning to the court and, uh, well, I think surprising most just with how well she has played it. I mean, I think many were expecting her to have changed her game slightly, of course, having all the, that, that time to maybe work on the serve. But the real surprise has been just how quick she has been able to find that match intensity. And I know after that win in the quarterfinals against Annette Kontavet, the key thing she said, I found a good rhythm. And yes. I think she's looked in a good rhythm. Word gut. Yes, and, and she looks very, very fit. To finish the point early, will it be the, the same today against Mladenovic? Or because Mladenovic, as you mentioned, maybe her movement isn't the best, will she be looking to be a little bit more consistent and allow the rally to grow? Well, yes, uh, I'm, I'm sure that her first focus will be her own game and, and uh, she will want to execute her shots. Uh, she'll want to serve well, move well. Uh, attack the, the second serves that's that's her game that's her game plan and then secondly I'm sure she knows the, the weaknesses of, of her opponent and she will try to expose those those weaknesses and uh, like you said she will probably try to move Mladenovic a lot uh, put her on a run and then I think we're going to see some attacking tennis from both sides mm. oh too right yeah. definitely and it's interesting you say about the second serve being attacked that's something we've seen from Sharapova in the first three matches that she played this week but Mladenovic actually has won the most points percentage-wise out of all the semi-finalists behind her second serve. Yeah. She's won 57.4% of second serve. So then, again, it's another interesting angle yeah. to this semi-final. And why it may be a little tougher today for Sharapova than those previous three matches that she's faced so far. Yeah. And, of course, coming up against a player in Kiki Mladenovic, she's not going to shriek the challenge, is she? She's looking very confident. She's that type of a player as well who doesn't seem intimidated by any situation. Yes, and the same the same is also for Mladenovic. She will play her own game. She knows what to do. She knows what she needs to execute. And she will try to, to pick on, on Sharapova's weaknesses again. And uh, she has a very good serve. So it will be a, a even bigger test today for Sharapova how she's going to attack that second serve. Mm. It'll be very interesting. Uh, the fact, of course, we talked to every single one of these matches with Maria Sharapova has brought a lot of media attention, brought a lot of spotlight, not just to her, and uh, she's shown that she can deal with the media attention and the spotlight this week. But it's also to her opponents, isn't it, as well? But Kiki Mladenovic, she's got experience in big, big time matches, isn't she? You know, particularly on the doubles court. Yeah. A couple of slams to her name, of course. She's the semis of Indian Wells. So she's getting more and more used to playing in front of these types of crowds on the big courts. I think she's used to it. She's, she comes from, from France and she, she, she got to play on the center court at Roland Garros a few times and she got to play big matches for, in doubles and mixed doubles. So I think she's used to it, yes. So this is the semi-final of the Porsche Tennis Grand Prix, the first one of the day. It is Kristina Mladenovic taking on Maria Sharapova. Sharapova, who's just been in quite amazing form since returning to the sport after her 15-month ban. But today, arguably the biggest test so far against the world number 19. And a player who's ranked 11th on the road to Singapore in Kiki Mladenovic. This should be an awesome matchup. Pete Hodges and Tina Krijan to talk you through it. And it will be Maria Sharapova to get this semi final underway. if uh, Sharapova is to win today 
And she would have a chance of getting into the French Open qualifiers direct without the wild card. Cut-off point for the qualies is Monday, May the 1st. Has to win the tournament to be guaranteed a spot in the qualies. Of course, still could get a wild card into the main draw. That's uh, yet to be decided. What have you been most impressed with about Sharapova and her return, Tina? I mean, there's been so many things. What's been number one for you? Just her mental attitude, just her focus and, and her determination. She's, <laughs> she's been away for 15 months and it almost looks like she's never been away. Closes out the first game with an ace. Leads the way. In terms of the semi-finalists in the ace count in this tournament, that's her 25th ace of the tournament. Gets herself off to a good start. It seems to have worked as well in terms of the ball toss on that first serve, 25 aces. She has just lowered a little, saying that she uh, wants to find a little more consistency with that serve. Of course, talked to about in a post-match interview. She's been compared a lot to Roger Federer, hasn't she? Of course, yeah. Federer taking a little bit of time out with the injury and then taking a little bit more time out just to make sure he's really primed and ready for this year. And he's come back and, you know, dominated the men's side of the game. She was quite modest, though, wasn't she, in sort of saying, uh, you know, I don't want to be compared with the, one of the greats of all time. Yeah. And he seems refreshed and focused. Everybody looks up to the best players, and I'm mm. sure she looks up to Federer as well. And she, she sees, and everybody else, that you can play really well and improve even at the age of 36, which uh, she's much younger than that. So she has a lot of years in front of her. Although is in her 30s now. Is she? Couple yes, of, exactly. Yeah, yeah, a week <laughs> a or so ago. Yeah. Turn 30. Medanovic will be in her 20s for a good while, only 23. Yeah, she's the youngest semi-finalist. Mm -hmm. There is her mum and coach. Oh, it's too big. And we see it from the start that she tries to execute her game. I mean, very precise, very accurate shot on the line. I say the thing that has impressed us a lot this week with Mladenovic has been that calm demeanour. Managed her game exceptionally well. But maybe just a few nerves at the start of this one from the French player. Yeah, she feels the pressure from the returns of Sharapova. A couple of early uh, break points then for the former world number one.
finds the line. And getting plenty of support as well from this Porsche Arena crowd. There's Kiki Mladenovic. She's won a lot of fans this week. Saw some trickalore flags flying <laughs> as well earlier on. Second serve, not enough on it. Straight onto the forehand of Sharapova. And she has been gobbling up those types of returns all week. Yes, and they love it. They know that's the right tactic, and she executes to perfection. Third break point. didn't move, which helped a bit that the ball skidded away from Sharapova. Nevertheless, it's one all now. Mm. Saves the three break points. When you asked me before what impressed me the most, the service also is, has been great with Sharapova. Mm. Of attitude out there, yes. isn't there? At the moment, <laughs> getting revenge with the drop shot. Lovely hand skills. It helps that she was standing right in the court, makes it easier to hit a good drop shot. It's terrific ball striking yet again from Maria Sharapova. And the momentum that she gathered from yesterday's performance has carried over into the semi-final quite clearly. It leads 2-1 first set.
of course, all semi-finals, Tina, there's big rivalry. It's always going to be intense, but I kind of feel with this match there's a little bit more intensity and rivalry. Of course, a lot of players have had their opinions on uh, Sharapova's ban and wild cards and whatnot. And Ladenovic was one of those players who perhaps spoke out a little. Yeah, she's not afraid to speak out her mind. Sharapova said in an interview yesterday that Mladenovic's comments hadn't affected her at all. It, it hadn't made her more motivated for this match. But will it? Will it have, you know, spurred her on even more when you when you think an, an opponent is maybe saying something that you don't agree with? Well, yes, they both know what the opponent thinks. I'm pretty sure of that. And they both seem to be motivated and, and wanting to show the other one what they can do on the court. Um, yeah, it's just one of those things. <laughs> How often, those, as a tennis player, are you affected by what's been said in various interviews, be it from coaches, yeah. other players? How often will it affect you in your actual game? Well, so many things have been said about Sharapova, haven't they? And so many things written. And so I, I think she, she must have gotten a thick skin, we would say. Mm -hmm. You can't let it get to you. If you want to perform, uh, you just have to know what you want and what, what's your job and, and stick to that and stick to her team and that's what she does she's always been just very close to her team and did everything what her team wanted her to do and yes it seems to be working for her but often players i'm not talking about her now but but players don't really read about mm -hmm. articles about themselves because things can be sometimes yes you know sometimes they're not true mm -hmm. uh so it's sometimes it's better to Maybe not to read the, the criticism, and sometimes it's not correct either, so it just depends. Oh, that's a fabulous return. A double fault in the previous point from Ladanovic, and then a, a shaky second serve, but... Once again, Sharapova is so clinical on the return. Yeah, put so much pressure on the second serve. Great angle there. I always say constructive criticism is very good, but you have to know who your friends are and who... who 30, 40. A 4-1 lead, first set. So, Tina, tell us what Zanita was saying to uh, Kiki Mladenovic. 
Yeah, I mean, yesterday she had very good influence on her, and uh, since she came on court, uh, Nadinovic started to play really nicely. Uh, she took a different racket, Nadinovic. We noticed uh, a little bit tighter strings because she said the balls are coming so fast from the other side. So maybe by that, when it does come to returning, she'll keep her stance and just have a, a yeah, tighter yeah. racket, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, the mother said serve more to the body as well because she has long reach left and right. And uh, also try, try to attack uh, with the first ball, not don't wait for, for the, the opponent to take the, the initiative. Just start from first ball, put pressure on her, go for it. The, the match will, will change. Positive words from the mother. But I'm pretty sure that Madinovic feels a lot of pressure from from, <laughs> from Sharapova's shots because she feels like she has to rush the shot. Mm. I think it's not being helped at the moment by the fact she's struggling with the first serve percentage. Yeah. It's just meaning she's behind the eight ball almost at the start of every rally. Let's first service. Talked about it being a key factor in this game. How Madinovic was going to hold up against the, on the second serve. So she's been serving very well with the second serve throughout the tournament. She a different kettle of fish in terms yes. of the return. So there's a different ball game. And that's uh, all about the first strike again. Getting herself up the court. Yes, and, and she took the racket with, with slightly tighter strings, so she has more control on her shots. So they don't fly out. 40, 15. Very good. Took initiative again. It's all about who takes the first initiative and who, who puts pressure and, and keeps that pressure on. So often talk about first strike tennis. And that was a far better service game from Ladanovic. Big difference when she gets the first serve in. Particularly a first serve at 188 kilometers an hour. Yes. <laughs> So first game in four for the world, number 19. Well, it looks like Mama's done the job again. Yes, that was a great counter-attack, wasn't it? She was under pressure almost the whole point until that second last forehand. Really executed well, Mladenovic. Look at the expression on her face. Very confident, determined. That's good to see. It's a slightly shorter backhand, and she's put under pressure straight away. Straight away. Again, good variation in the serve, keeps her guessing. 
Milenovic really wants to attack with a forehand on the second serve, but Sharapova doesn't give her the opportunity to do so because she keeps serving it wild wide. He's only dropped four points on serve so far, Sharapova. There's not much you can do on this serve. It's too accurate. She's won nine from 11 behind the first serve. She's been winning points at a, a rate of 81.6% throughout the <laughs> tournament, which is just staggering. So the low ball toss is clearly working. Nothing Mladenovic could do in that game. And Sharapova's a game away from taking the first set. Leads 5-2. Sharapova's been getting better and better with each match she has played. So far in this one, Mladenovic really has just played one slightly sloppy game. And now finds herself 2-5 down. It's been that good again from the Russian. But the world number 19 does have new balls here at 2-5. wonder is there anything Mladenovic can do with that second serve I mean she's won three of 11 now Sharapova <laughs> all over it I mean does she just take more risk take more off the first serve well she's getting killed basically mm, yeah <laughs> off you know if the serve is slightly shorter or not in the corner she's just Sharapova is just all over it mm. so what, what does she do to combat that that puts so much pressure on her mm. uh, <laughs> she almost looks like like I don't know what to do I mean you know. <laughs> <laughs> but she just has to stick to her game she just has to try to get as many first serves in as possible and and just hit different serves sometimes kick sometimes slice this on the second serve are you talking about second serve yeah in terms I'm, of I'm in general I'm talking about the first serve just well, just hit okay. different serves hit some kick hit some slice some so you keep her you keep Sharapova guessing all the time but second serve really like this one. Okay, she was lucky that Sir Sharapova missed, but it was too much to the middle, mm -hmm. too much on the racket of, of Sharapova. So she really has to find find the corners a bit more, which means that she has to risk to more. To risk more, yeah. 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 Because there's a big difference at the moment between uh, points one behind the first serve. 85% for Mladenovic behind the first, just 27% behind the second before that point. Another point successfully won behind the first serve from Ledenovic. 
shows that it is just the one break still in this opening set, which means, of course, she's still in it. Sierra Plover yep. now serving for it at 5-3. It's only one break. Hasn't really got close to breaking the Sharapova Plover serve. I think she'll do anything different on the return, stand a little bit further back. But that's how you have to think. It's only one break. It's OK, 5-3 mm -hmm. down, but it's really only one break. And she wins this game. She's almost back to back to where she was at the beginning. But it all depends on Sharapova. She's been serving so well, but we saw yesterday that... Closing at, out? Yeah, closing out sometimes can be a bit of a... Not a problem, but, you know, she's not so confident yet. So like her mother, when she came on the court, she said, just just wait, wait for your opportunity. Just keep playing. The match will, will turn, hopefully. Yeah. I mean, again, depends on Sharapova. If she plays like this with so much confidence, then it's very difficult. And of course, it helps when she gets the first serve in because she can attack with the second second shot straight away and puts her opponent on the run, which she's been doing so well in this first set. One set away from reaching what would be a fourth final here in Stuttgart. It's another super sharp set from Maria Sharapova. Takes the opener, 6-3 in 35 minutes. Fortieth year of uh, this magnificent event in Stuttgart. All this uh, indoor tournament in Europe okay, since 1978, and of course it's the biggest indoor clay event that there is. It's such a fascinating event because it's indoors and on clay. It just means you can have a clay court to go deep. You can also have players like the two we're witnessing who probably prefer quicker courts. There it is. She took more, more, more risk with that back and down the line. Yeah, this clay is a bit quicker than, than the outdoor clay. Mm. definitely is. Yeah, I said it all week. A lot of the players have said it in interviews, saying it's a lot drier. The ball won't hold up as much. Of course, with it being indoors, it flies through the air that much quicker too. Uh, Sharapova's last two titles in terms of majors, Grand Slam events, at the French Open. Yes. So she can certainly move on clay, unlike she said she used to. <laughs> Is it a cow on ice, I think she cow, said, yes. described herself. <laughs> That's a bit harsh. Yes. 
A long way away from that now, though. Yes. Now she moves on the surface. The third double fault from Ledanovic. Talked about her maybe risking a little more on that second serve. Might see that in this set. So double fault count may continue to rise. But she's played uh, and lived most most of her life in, in America, uh, Sharapova, mm. and uh, uh, they don't have red clay over there. And uh, it's it's certainly diff different for uh, European players who are, you know, brought up on clay and, and used to clay and played clay tournaments since they're 10, 11, 12, and they're used to sliding, and which is the most important thing in the in the movement on clay. It just comes natural to slide for the ball when for somebody. Growing up on hard courts, it's, it can be very difficult. I've seen people actually uh, <laughs> learning how to slide, and they were players playing on tour. I mean, mm -hmm. they were good players, top top 30 players, learning how to slide. It's the basic thing yeah. which Europeans can do with with closed eyes, but uh, it's not so easy. Yeah. Second double fault of the game. And when she was broken in the first set, there were two double faults in that game too. As we've said, the way that Sharapova has been attacking that second serve, she's been under a tremendous amount of pressure behind the second serve, and Sharapova has an early break point in this second set. Again, has to rely on the second serve. Well, it was a scrappy start, really, to the game from Ladenovic, and you cannot afford that right now against the player in your picture. Punishes our opponent yet again and picks up an early break at the start of the second set. Yeah, Mladenovic's percentage of the first serve is, is 52%, which is, is 50 now. Uh, here is the statistics on the first, uh, first set. It's, it's quite low, I mean, because Sharboa puts so much pressure on the second serve that she really needs to get that percentage percentage up. Uh, two double faults, I mean, it's not such a huge difference in, in the statistics, is it? From just It was just, just one break and uh, uh, Sharapova ran away with it. That's great tennis. Yes, that's excellent. If she can mix it up. The ball has to be short enough to be able to do that. The lead court gave you the opportunity to hit sort of drop shot slice.
first point of the game. We saw what a wonderful point that was, but it was only the fifth point. Mladenovic has won against Sharapova, and it almost underlines how good it's got to be. Yes, this last point was a slight opportunity for mm. Mladenovic to perhaps get a break, but couldn't, couldn't win the point. Guess the right way, but can control the backhand. We saw a statistic flash up there. 82% Sharapova's been winning, not just off the first serve, but off the second serve as well. Yes. Are, are you thinking Mladenovic needs to change her return stance or, or do something different with the second serve? I'm sure, yes. I, if something's not working, you, you, you try to change it. She does stand awfully close on the second serve. And first serve as well, but second serves are coming coming in with one, 160 kilometers an hour. A lot of people uh, serve that with the first. first serve. That's the speed of the first serve. Is it, she's late again, 171. Mm. <laughs> this is amazing speed. I think for Sharapova, she uh, did lead the double fault count coming into this one. Out of the four semi-finalists, but yet to have one today. And so confidence is building behind that second serve yeah because she takes so much risk on the second serve Sharapova she used to make more double faults mm. but today like you said just one yes zero a zero yeah. and she comes through yet another game and it's been an astonishing service performance so far from the Russian coaching team on their feet again and I'm sure it's Frank Gronefeld who as an experienced coach, isn't he? Is probably sitting there pretty smug, thinking I was right to change that ball toss, lower it down <laughs> a little bit yes. with the way that she's serving in this I'm tournament. Sure. But as we saw yesterday with a, the match against Annette Kontovet, Sharapova got a little shaky towards the end and Estonia did well just to hang around and hang in there, very nearly got back to 5 all. Yes, it's crucial for Mladenovic to win this game, to stay close. Don't let her run away with it. And you can hear the crowd are trying to get behind it. They, uh... Yeah, they want to see more tennis. Mm, exactly. Well, that had a, a fair amount of pop on it, didn't it? Yeah. Third ace for Mladenovic. Oh, what a service game that is. And in the blink of an eye, Mladenovic gets herself on the scoreboard. A little later than she would have liked, though, in this second set, because it's Sharapova who leads by two games to one.
That's a nice switch up. And the thing is for Mladenovic, she has the weapons to hang in there, to turn this match around. She does, and she has the attitude as well, which is important. You have to stay confident. She played it nicely here, played it back behind her. We haven't seen this too often in this match. I think it's very good, especially on clay. I mean, what can you do against this? Nothing. And how many times did we see it yesterday? She would play one or two poor points, yeah. and the next point was almost always an ace or a cheap point off the serve. The response of a champion time and time again. She did question the mark, but he was out. Not, not much. And I think this is the first time in the match that Mladenovic has been up 15-30. <laughs> it may even be the first game of a Sharapova service game where she's got to 30. Well, said in the previous game, Sharapova hadn't had any double faults, which is unusual. And there is one. And a crucial moment as well, because it gives Mladenovic two break points. First break points of the match for the French player. That's excellent. Great thinking. She gave her a couple of slow balls, slices with no pace. Sharapova didn't do much with them, didn't step in. And then she used the first opportunity to hit down the line. But, you know, it's really good thinking. And she's right back in it now. Like the little fist bump as well on the sideline. And you know just how important that break of serve is. It's two all. Feel the belief as well through the confidence that she's built up over the last couple of months or so. It's just allowed her to stay in this match. You know, she was getting obliterated, really, wasn't she? First yeah. set, two love down. No panic button pressed. Sharapova just beginning to show that she's human. The level has just dipped a fraction. Yeah, I got her feet planted a bit with that backhand. Didn't move in enough. Some encouragement from the coach. I'm in the second set. Leads by three games to two.
Well, should have a match on her hands now. It's been a, it had been a little one-sided, in truth, although there was only the one break of serve in the first set. Ah, Jürgen Klinsmann. Talk about having some of the greats on the tennis court. There's one of the uh, greats from the football world in the stands. Yeah, I'm sure you know your football. <laughs> I do like a bit of football. <laughs> I wonder who he's supporting today. Hmm. Of course, there is uh, Laura Siegmund. Yes. In the second semi final. German up against Simona Halep. Siegmund again. Doing it again here <laughs> in uh, Stuttgart. Quite unbelievable. <laughs> Really high. Definitely. Perhaps this is her year. Mm. I talked about a breakthrough in 2013. She finished 56th in the world. Been yo yoing a bit each year since then. Playing her best tennis, arguably right now. Certainly in terms of her game management, as we were just saying then, this year's been a lot better. But nothing she can do about that. Third ace for Sharapova. The reaction says it all. First game in four. Stops the rot. And it's three all second set. Second serve, they seem to hit it with a bit more pace as well. Yes, she has to go. She has to go for it. Otherwise, Sharapova will be all over it. Sometimes, because of that, she makes more double faults. But I think that's okay, isn't it? I think yeah, you know, yeah. You can accept that. Particularly when you analyse the first set. As I say, only won 33% of the points behind the second serve. are bad here if this one has missed because the only two times in the match that Mladenovic has been broken she's served two double faults in those two games and now a second double fault in this game again knowing that she has to risk
Oh, that's a super return. Oh, she took it on the rise. It'll be interesting to see the speed of this forehand. Right out in front. Yeah, perfect timing. That's a break point for Sharapova. For once, Sharapova just seemed to hold back a little on that return. That's what she's uh, frustrated with herself about there. There's not a seat left in the stands. Did well to reset herself. Should have gone down the line with the first forehand. Made sure of it on the next one. Yeah, the serve has to be that good. She has been mixing it up well. Hit it back behind her again. Good body serve. Yeah, it comes through the game. And that's a gutsy hold from Ladenovic. Two double faults in the game, but they matter not this time. That's, that's the French player who leads 4 3. Now, Tina, I can't understand Serbian, but you were every now and then having a little chuckle there in that <laughs> interchange between um, Zanita and uh, Kiki Miladinovic. What was said? Well, they have a very good relationship, really. Do her parents are sporty, very sporty. They both played professional sports, uh, volleyball and handball, so they know how to how to talk to her. And she's Sharapova is, is serving with new balls now. It's interesting, she took a heavier racket. She must have so many rackets in that bag, Mladenovic. <laughs> the heavier racket will give her more power on her ground strokes. Well, the mother uh, produced a, a statistic, so it's quite interesting. Um, she she said, look look where she's look where she's serving to you, and uh, obviously there's some green and blue dots, and uh, so Mladinovic knows exactly how how Sharapova is serving in to the in today's match. But still, you know, Sharapova producing this sort of serves, what can you do? 
And the mother just said basically stay positive, just hit through the ball, move your feet, really try to have the high intensity, move your feet, don't think about who is on the other side, just go for it. It's an overall from Alison Hughes. It's either going to be an ace or a double fault. And it is going to be a double fault. Second double for Sharapova. Well, she hit through the ball here, but her feet were not in the right position. Her shot, shot was a bit off balance. That's why the mistake. Sharapova safely negotiates another service game, broken just the once so far today, as she was yesterday. And it's four all second set. Anything slightly short. And Sharapova is on top of it. Yes, he's being punished throughout the match. I just feel that her intensity is so high. It almost always drags up the intensity of the opponent. Yeah. Ladenovic only just not being given many opportunities to build her way into points. I'm sure that's uh, Sharpo was one of one, one of her priorities, not to give Mladenovic any time to breathe, even just put pressure on her all the time, and it's dangerous situation again. Seventh double fault, and now just seven points from 24 behind the second serve. Needs to find some first serves here. Built the point well there. Mladenovic taking the opportunity to get forward. They 
taking some time to regroup and focus. It's a great serve and backhand. It's worked almost every time this tactic playing behind the opponent. She's won 93% of her first serve, Mladenovic, today. Excellent statistics. More than Sharpova, actually. Sharpova has won 81% of her first serves. Well, you kind of feel she's caught in a rock in a hard place with the second serve, Nadanovic. She's really trying to hit it long, isn't mm. she? And then she's just missing it for just a couple of... This, this one was quite long, but a few others were not, not far out. She just feels that she has the serves have to be long. So Sharapova has less chance to put pressure on the, sh on the shots. Again, such clear thought from Mladenovic on such a big point. Nerveless tennis from the French player. That was quite a gutsy shot. She could see Sharapova way behind the baseline. It's another huge service hold from Ladanovic. And listen to the noise. I think uh, the majority of this crowd want this one to go the distance. Could well be going the distance if Ladanovic can break in the next game. She's been having to fight a little harder than Sharapova to hold serve. Mladenovic all through this match, but the fight is exactly what we've seen from the French player. And what it has all resulted in is that now Sharapova is serving to stay in the set 4-5. Ah. Of course, Sharapova yet to drop a set in this tournament. 
Came close against Vinci and Makarova. Number four for the Russian. Obviously, it's a, it's a very important game, and uh, we can see Sharapova taking a bit more time on her serve. She's not rushing. Or is it ace number four? Mm, it is. Of unforced errors, there haven't been too many of those. Ah, but you know, it changed the height of the ball a bit. So it's played a couple of slightly higher balls, change up the rhythm. <laughs> then there is that serve. <laughs> Yep, right on the line. So often, the great players seem to find the lines yes. on the big points. Third double fault. Certainly the level in this set hasn't been as high as what we saw in the first set. A lot of that, as you say, got to give credit to Mladenovic. One for hanging in there. Yes. But two, as you say, has been mixing up the speeds and the spins on the ball. It's just put Charapova out of her rhythm a little. Yes. Fifth ace, and what a timely one. It's 5 all in the second set.
Well, how many times have we seen her do that? Not just today, but this week. Pouncing on the second serve. Yeah, she was ready for that forehand. And the previous point, incidentally. That was just the third point that Miladinovic has lost when she's got the first serve in. Again, there is a staggering difference between yeah. the points won behind the first serve and the second serve. And what it all means is she needs some first serves here once more. And went for a conservative first serve. Decided not to risk having to hit the second. Yeah, it's good to mix it up. A bit more kick on the first serve. It's won 30 out of 32 points behind that first serve. But hasn't won that one. Barely landed off the serve and the ball was back past her. This hasn't hit enough angle on that serve. When she hits the forehand, it really has to be close to the line. Otherwise, she punishes it. I think she was probably fearing missing the serve, so... Yeah. Didn't want to have to hit a second serve. Break point, Sharapova. Miladinovic did so well there to keep her concentration. There's a lot of oohs and ahs as a couple of Sharapova shots hit the baseline. Great serve again. Got a lot of joy from that slider out wide. Yeah, there was better placement. Nailed it. And when she needs it most, she produces the best shots. That was nice slide into the ball with the left foot. Oh, what a forehand on the run. It's what a great ending of the second set. Both players producing such great tennis. And it's a second break point for Maria Sharapova.
Yet again, though, able to find a big first serve, Mladenovic. He's played a lot of big matches lately. Remember those wins in Indian Wells? Be the likes of Halep Wozniacki. All those performances will no doubt be in the back of her mind in these crunch situations. I think she's looking for the, the, the newest ball so the serve can have the more speed on it. Didn't work though. No. Should have stuck with the uh, the ball she was using in the <laughs> first place. Should have stuck with a furry one, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Understandable. It has been a long game. And it's another break point for Sharapova. Ninth double from Mladenovic. Yet again, though. Nice variation on the serve. Went out wide before. This one down the tee. Keeps hanging in, Madenovic. It's great early depth from Sharapova. Suffocating Mladenovic. Yeah, I think she's looking at the bounce. Mm. She read the play. She did. Over nine minutes. This game. Back to juice we go once more. For the fifth time. a rocket can she find one more yeah Magnificent. And that is some way to close out an epic game. What a hold from Kiki Mladenovic. And she's in front again. A game away from taking us the distance. Wins a 10 minute and 48 second game. And now leads 6-5.
Well, what a uh, game that last one was. And it was Mladenovic who was able to win it to save the three break points. Can she break the Sharapova serve, though, for just the second time in this match? If she can't, it's a settle. Yeah, Mladenovic has hung in there nicely. Last game, and it was very important, more than 10 minutes. She managed to win it. So often you see, isn't it, when you see a long game like that, the player who loses it often yeah. has a little bit of a hangover. Yes, but doesn't seem <laughs> with Sharapova. <laughs> First point back to business. And this is one of the reasons why she has been the very best in the world. It's yeah. that attitude, isn't it? That yes. mental capacity to reset. Turn. I see why well, she came out of the shot a bit. Mladinovic keeps hanging in there, keeps at her, and you never know, she may get a chance. Didn't hold back on the second serve. She has done throughout the match. Fourth double fault, though. And the former world number one and three-time champion here in Stuttgart. Now up against it. Set point, Mladenovic. For the first time in this tournament, Maria Sharapova loses a set of tennis, but take nothing away from Kiki Mladenovic. From two love down, turns the set around, and we are going the distance on centre court. Mladenovic takes the second set by seven games to five.
uglavnom. Šta te interesuje? Evo ti gde servira. To su zelene, su prvi, plave su drugi. Ovo su let što su bile prvi set. Crvene su let kad je prvi set. Kad možeš na drugi malo se odmakni u nazad i onda arm i opali. Da, drugi servi sam našla, da malo više po zadnji i po uvijek. Ali dobro servira prvi, meša, vidiš da nema ništa. Da, jeste sine. Vidiš, vidiš ide ti ipak dosta, ne ide ti u telo prvi. Ništa, nikak. Ništa ti ne ide u telo za sad. Zato da koga se dobro ovaj. Da. Ali rekla sam ti, na bitan moment sa prednog strane ide slice na te, malo prije ti je to upalilo s ove strane. I to te ide. Ja sam vani, ovo je sve as. Ne. Jeste. A da, ali malo prije ti je, kad je počeo drugi pojen u ovom zadnjem gemu, išla ti je sa prednog strane na te slice gde te odvede skroz samo daleko, znaš. Moraš to, mislim, da čekaš, ne možeš da čekaš, ali... Da budeš spremna brzo. Sjeti si ok. Da. Ne mogu prvi set, ne mogu blizu. Se bira sto sram jesu. Evo ti ti. Ali pazi, ti moraš malo više. Guraj gore nogama. Uzmi taj žel jedno. Evo ti gde serviraš. Pogledaj. Ovo su tvoje lopi. Prvi servis. Manje joj ideš ovamo. Vidiš? Drugi servis ide. Moraš da daš akcelerasu. Idi više u telo. Da ne ide joj na reket. Znaš, mislim, nije ona... Mama, ona si smakni. Ona odmakne se pozadnje. Evo sad ćemo vidimo gde čeka. Ne, ne. Sad ćemo vidimo gde čeka servis. Gledaj. Vidi gde čeka servis. Drugi gde ti čeka. Vidi prve gde ti čeka. Pa ona čeka za strane jer ti se pravo zdjeva kada se odmakne. Da, otvara. Ali moraš da daš akceleracijom. Moraš da guraš i gora leva ruka da ti ostane za servis. Sine, lomiš se, zato ti prvi toliko ne prolazi. Mislim, nije katastrofa. Evo ti meč, evo ti statistike. Gledaj, 54% imaš prvog servisa. Meč je katastrofa, samo se mladim. Ajde, ajde, moraš da izdržiš. To ide u tvoju, to ide u sebi u prilog. Jer ti imaš bolju ruku i možeš da ubaciš svaku loptu. Ako kvalitetno prve udarce odigravaš. Ajde, važi. Ajde, da si dobila novi rekord. Well, a pretty long breath room uh, break for Maria Sharapova. Definitely a big full stop yes. over the last set. We talk about her ability to be able to reset. And for the first time, she's going to have to reset after losing a set in this tournament. Mladenovic serving first in the third.
I'm trying to get a... Stop. Yeah, she's playing really confident tennis right now, Miladinovic. Again, such clear thinking out there. Yeah, great variation. Really, you have to emphasize the character that she showed. After losing that first set 6-3, only won four points off the Sharapova serve in the opening set, then went a breakdown early in the second. But did not press the panic button. And just a reminder, of course, Sharapova desperately wanting to win today to take the decision out of the ITF's hands with regards to any wild cards at the French Open. She would qualify direct if she wins the tournament for the qualifying at Roland Garros. And if she gets to the final, she's also in with a big shout. Qualifying direct for the qualifying. Yeah, but if she loses today, then she can't get into the No, qualifying. it would require a, a wild card. This, of course, is the other thing for Sharapova as well. You know, with that 15 months out of the game, it's the first match that's really gone on yeah. for a while. Yes. You know, how is... I mean, we talk about how fit she's going to be and how fit she's looked out there. But, of course, that match intensity, the emotions that go on in a match, and getting used to going through those emotions for such a long period of time, it's going to be pretty new to her in terms of the last year and a half. As Modanovic comes through the first game, and the momentum is certainly with the French player. Third game in a row for the world number 19. Yeah, second set statistics again. Some more aces from Sharapova. Um, but really, what, what made a difference was uh, Mladenovic hung in there. Uh, she mixed it up a bit. She hit a few slices, a few high balls, didn't give her the rhythm, and just basically f fought all the way through and waited for the opportunity, which, which came in the, in, uh, at 6-5, and uh, really, really won the, the second set really nicely. Really all credit to her. Right into the corner. You know, just uh, the difference in that set as well. A few too many unforced errors, wasn't there? Her level did dip. It was at a staggering height in the first set. I remember Zanita coming on to uh, speak to Kiki Mladenovic and, and saying, just hang in there. Mm -hmm. and she was right. And as you say, credit to Mladenovic because of uh, mixing those speeds of shot and spins up. She did so well against Suarez Navarro. Glorious. Wow. Make Sharapova feel a little better. Two winners in a row. Yeah, Sharapova's level was as high as it could be in the first set. And uh, Mladenovic just, just hung in there and uh, just waited for the opportunity. And uh, it really paid off. But now it's a new story in the third set. Such quality ball striking from both players. Yes, every shot, uh, sh short ball is punished, like the last one.
just wide. That was quite risky, wasn't it? She mm. could have let it drop and hit an easy shot yeah, completely in an agree. open court. I think it looks out. Yeah, and it is out. But yeah, I agree with you there, Tina. Decided to try and take it on the volley, but meant that it was all a little rushed. 40, 50. Sharapova holds with relative ease. And it's one all in the third. What's going to be the defining factor here, do you think, Tina, in this third set? Well, Mladenovic has to keep keep playing the way she has been playing in the second set, mixing it up. But really, the first serve is, is the key. And, and the mother was, was on the court again in the after the second second set and in the break and was telling her all about the statistics of her serve. And she said, "You have to li you have to lift up the percentage. You have 54 percent. You have to lift it up. You have to you have to hit more first serves in the court." It's a great shot, and she also gave her a bit of a technical advice how to do that. Uh, basically, she said, "Just just lift your left arm, keep it high at the ball toss, keep it high." Keep it relaxed and push up with your body and your serve will, will go in. And basically she just spoke very, very positively with a lot of confidence. Because we keep mentioning it, it's a huge difference between the first and the second. 91% of the points she's won behind the first serve, 31% behind the second serve. So yeah. you know, maybe a bit more topspin and whatnot on that first serve. Because you don't really want to have to rely on your first serve percentage. Yes. To get you through the match, because you know, if she can't find that first serve, then it's going to be uh, really tough for her. It's only Sharapova giving a few more free points than what she was in the first set. Yeah, she also feels the pressure from Mladenovic. Mm. Too good. Such controlled play with beauty mixed in there. Yeah, great touch. Another comfortable service hold from Ladenovic. Dropped just the one point so far on serve in the third set from her two games and leads 2-1. through this. This is an opportunity and I want to continue having this opportunity. Yeah, you're serving, your variety is great. Stick with that. Now on your return of serve, you're winning 70% on the second serve returns only for one reason. It's because you're cutting off every single angle on the return. You're going to the bounce instead of being passive on the first serve returns. If she goes to your body, let her go to your body. You have a great hand-eye coordination. Yeah? This is, this is the moment where you have to take some chances on the return of serve, on the first, first serve. Challenge yourself. In return, you challenge her. Yeah? That's, the other thing is, keep to your baseline, because that allows you to step in when the ball comes short. 
Yeah, you're doing great on that as well. As long as you keep that baseline, then you can step into the court and go forward. You will create many opportunities. Yeah, you just have to get a little bit better on that first serve return. Here we go. Come on. Oh, really interesting uh, conversation between uh, Sven Grunefeld and uh, Maria Sharapova. We're saying uh, how well she's been doing off that second serve return. We've mentioned that a number of times in commentary. She's standing right up to the line, cutting off the angles. That's why she's doing so well. So don't fear the body return. You've got great hand-eye coordination. But the really interesting thing was saying that stand up to the, the first serve even more. Yeah, put more pressure on the first serve. Mm. <laughs> and wants her generally just to be on top of the baseline in the rallies. missed it but it, in general we're seeing more of these types of rallies now and Sharapova's definitely moved back a fraction from where we saw her in the first set yeah and Denovich has done such a good job of pushing her back and so I can understand why Gronefeld's saying that in terms of saying you know get on top of the baseline again and where she plays her best tennis is at the front of the court yes and she can get to the shorter balls much quicker if she stands closer to the baseline. Again, there was a fair amount of positive reinforcement too from Gronefeld. Too good from Mladenovic. Third service game in a row, which has gone 30 love up and then pegged back to 30 all. No, in fact, it's not. I just remembered the first service game that she had in this set. Certainly the last two in the previous set were like that. And Danovic has got better and better and better on the return. Yes. As the match has gone on. Well, you just have to love this sport, isn't it? Set and two, love. Yeah. You think we're probably going to be sat here for all of another 20 minutes and <laughs> we'll be awaiting the next semi-final. But it can turn around and change so quickly. Now it's Miladenovic with a break point in this third set. Great serve. I don't know if she gambled that she was going up the line there. Yeah, she did. That was a big opportunity for Mladenovic. And what a couple of serves. Sick face.
these two at the moment just cannot be separated. This time it's Sharapova's uh, turn to dig deep and come through a service game. That was a big save and he knows it. Has to keep pressing Miladinovic. I didn't quite get to that last forehand. I thought she would be able to, but the slide was not quite long enough. Oh, didn't miss by much. Again, going back to her favourite serve from the Juice Court side, French player. That's what her coach wants: take more risk on the first, on the first serve, on the return of the first serve. Faults have been an issue for Medanovic in this match. That is her tenth. And it gives Sharapova two break points. What a chance. It's the type of return that she was just eating up in the first set. Yeah, she's feeling it too a little bit, but it's quite normal. The match has been going on for a long time and Mladenovic has shown very good resistance. Still break point. Found the line, I think she has. <laughs> what a time to produce an ace. Fourth ace. Just wonder whether that second serve miss return will come back to bite Sharapova. Mladenovic, she won 21 matches this year, so she must be feeling pretty confident in this sort of situations. What do you think? 
Well, yeah, again, I was just about to mention how calm she looks out there. Yeah. So emotionally together. Not getting too high or too down from point to point. Brilliant from Ladenovic. Had to save the two break points, but she passes another test. And moves in front again in this third set, 3-2. Going to like the point from Ladenovic. Such smart play. Yeah, interesting choice of return. High top swing backhand. And that's done a really good job, as you said, getting her out of a rhythm. Yeah. She said yesterday after her match win, Sharapova, I found a good rhythm. <laughs> and so Ladenovic was probably listening, <laughs> yes. thinking, not going to find one against me. <laughs> Thank you. 
Sharapova has never lost in the semis here before. But is in danger in this match right now. There was again a forehand slice return. Sharapova didn't like. Three break points for Mladenovic. A bad bounce, unlucky. We saw a missed second serve return from Sharapova in the previous game. Proved costly. Mladenovic was able to hold. It was a bit of a bad bounce there. Well, that one proved costly. We should get another second serve to look at. Still two break points. Maybe a bit of tension there too from Ladanovic. That was a slightly loose shot. She needs to keep pressure on. Both players have had a fair few break points now in this third set. Still one left here from Ladanovic. Three missed first serves from Sharapova on all the break points. Still, though, Mladenovic can't break. Can't buy a first serve at the moment, Sharapova. Will it be fourth time lucky for Mladenovic? Yes, her percentage has gone down to 45% of first serves. Really needs to find a first serve now. And the forehand started to go as well as Miladenovic breaks. It's the first break in this deciding set. And you have to say it was a bit of a scrappy game from Sharapova. And we haven't said that too often this week. Yes. So Miladenovic leads 4-2.
finds the line. Danovic has to stay aggressive and positive in this game. Yeah, the danger with, with hitting too many slices mm. is you get too passive. You really have to stay aggressive and hit the drop shots and, and slices at the right time. Made no mistake with that forehand. It's almost like she senses that Mladenovic is, has gone back slightly. Oh, what a return. Following exactly what Sven Gronefeld told her to do. Cut the corner and took more risk on the first serve. A chance to break straight back. Three break points for Sharapova. That's good racket head speed on the forehand. Excellent almost serve bit, too. Almost a little bit angry shot, wasn't it? Mm. it looked a bit angry. Good second serve, isn't it? Yeah. And going into the body with pace and depth. Wow. That was actually a slow second serve for Mladenovic. I almost just wondered whether Sharapova was caught by surprise with she how was. slow it was. Yeah, yeah. It turned out to be a good change up. <laughs> What a pickup from the Danovic. Almost a half volley, just played in the open court. Just drifted wide. And what a hold from Kiki Mladenovic from Love 40 down. Wins five straight points. And she's now a game away from the final. Leads by five games to two.
Well, what a match this one's been. Thought it might be Sharapova's toughest test so far. It's certainly proven that way. Against the world number 19 and a player brimming with confidence. All looks so different at a set and two, love. But now it is Sharapova serving to stay in the match at 2-5 in the third. Way to start. How about that for a return? Took some risk, Mladenovic. She needs to, and she can. She's 5-2 up. Yeah, the last two service games from Lodinovic have been a little edgy, a little tight. Certainly uh, we'll want to get over the line here if she can. Look at that in terms of the return points. What a change from the first set. Such a difference, though, for Sharapova when she gets that first serve in. Couldn't find a first serve in the previous game. Great drive volley. Dealt with the ball so well. <laughs> She's a different player, Mladenovic, this year. It's just that on-court intelligence. And that belief and confidence. Yes. Alongside the, the cool exterior that we're seeing. Two points away. Do you believe it? <laughs> Just wonder with moments like that. I can sometimes think it's going to be my day. <laughs> She's missed it. She's made a few unusual mistakes for her in the third set, Sharapova. It's been off the forehand side, hasn't it? Yes. Forehand has been a bit of liability in the third set. Seventh eighth. So Sharapova does the first job. Maybe the easier job. Yes. 
Holding serve. But it's been a while since she last broke the Mladenovic serve. Can she do so here? Serving for the match, the world number 19. Toss wasn't right at all. 15 11th double fault. She could have dropped it almost like Sharapova does when she doesn't throw it the right way. Or Zygmunt, for example. She lets it drop a lot. A little late on it. Got jammed a bit. Oh. What timing, both on the return and to hit a winner like that. Sharapova is not done. Yeah, the serve was right in, hit right into her hitting mm. zone, wasn't it? Two break points. We go on, Sharapova breaks back, and she's still alive. Mladenovic still leading though, 5-4.
shown so much character this week, Maria Sharapova. And did so again in the last two games. Got a little lucky, of course, last time serving. 30 all, big net court. But she used that luck very well. Second time, no serving to stay in the match. 4-5. Forehand keeps missing. Well, did give her angle this time, Mladenovic. The mother came on the court and said, uh, play through the middle and wait for the opportunity for a short ball and hit it, hit it away. Sharapova likes the angles. What confidence and audacity. <laughs> what a gutsy shot. Wow. Eight face. What a return. Great footwork around the ball. If Mladenovic wants to break here, she needs to show a lot of courage. Great inside-out forehand. You kind of feel she has to go for it. Sharapova isn't going to hand her it. No. And what coolness on the final ball. Well, that comes from doubles, I tell you. She's used to those balls. She didn't panic at all. It's almost the first volley of the match that Sharapova has played. And they did look a little stiff and awkward. Yeah. <laughs> match point.
It's Mega from Mladenovic. As she ends Sharapova's run in Stuttgart. What a match. What a performance from the world number 19. Look at that. Reaches her third final of the year. First here in Stuttgart. And from a set and two love down, found a way to turn it around. She defeats Sharapova. 3 6, 7, 5, 6, 4 in two hours and 39 minutes. We know Sharapova's back. That's, uh, that was in no doubt before this match, but what a performance from Nadenovic. Yes, it was unbelievable. I mean, really, what a good match. After the first set, we actually didn't think that Nadenovic would win, but she hung in there. She played aggressive. She stuck to her game plan. She served well. She moved well. She, she you know, changed it up. Uh, she hit some slices. She, she really played well, and, and she had courage in the end. It took some courage to win this match. Well, get your breath well, back Christina, up to that. Two hours and 38 minutes, three sets. It couldn't have been tighter. You're down a set in a break. What did turn it around for you? Uh, yeah, that was kind of a, a thriller match, I'd say. But, uh, you know, Maria um, is a tough player. She's uh, very aggressive from the first uh, shots. And I think, you know, in the first set was 6-3, but just one break. And, uh, you know, I, I was struggling a little bit with my serve and return. I mean, you could see that the, the balls were flying all over the places because uh, both of us are hitting quite strong. So, uh, you know, we were trying to find uh, good adjustments. And uh, not an easy match, but I just tried to fight in there. And, um, and yeah, at the end, um, it paid off. Well, you in the end, you're serving for it, and she comes back, and then you play a brilliant game in the end, you know, with so much touch. This intensity that she shows on the court, is that something you feel as an opponent in important points when she looks across and you know she's won so many matches, or are you, is it possible to ignore that? I mean, uh, it's obvious. We all know that uh, she has uh, such a long career behind her back. She has uh, lots of experience, and you know, uh, I'm not sure I did much wrong uh, on that serve when I served 5 3. I served one serve 189 and I, I got the winner back. So um, not easy, but um, I know that I had my chances and I really uh, fight with my mental strength. Let's say I, I never give up and uh, I'm just uh, so excited to be in the final, actually. <laughs> well, you should be. Already in the quarterfinals, uh, you came out with a game plan and you executed it absolutely brilliantly. And, you know, watching this match, uh, the more it it went on, one had a feeling he started to figure out what you needed to do against Maria. Uh, did you have a game plan when he came out and what did you learn during the match? Yeah, I think um, the, the most important thing for me was to ret return her serve. I think she served brilliantly, really. Uh, all uh, the, the short angles close to the line, so it was uh, really not easy to return her serve. And uh, that was the biggest uh, thing for me, that was the key. And. Uh, um, eventually, you know, I managed to, to put some returns back, put pressure, try to, to be in a rally because I, I, I thought I could uh, win those points. And, um, well, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. That was kind of a nerve thriller match. And um, thank you for such a great atmosphere. I, I can assure you, everyone enjoyed it. Now, you are in the finals. And in the beginning of the week, nobody wants to talk or even see this little thing standing there in the corner. How do you like that color? Uh, you mean my parents' corner? Uh, I, mean they're, I mean, they're so sweet, you know, like uh, I called my mom on the court and I said, can you please just relax? I mean, they both play like collective sport, like volleyball and handball where everybody's like, you know, jumping, you know, screaming and I'm like, I mean, this is just tennis, please enjoy it. Like don't jump all over the press, it's almost they were on the court, so, but I love it. It's uh, like you guys, uh, if you wouldn't um, put some noise, it wouldn't be that uh, enjoyable. So, uh, yeah, of course, uh, I love to have them by my side. If you happen to win the car, what is actually the speed limit in Dubai? Um, <laughs> I'm about to say, like, in between no speed limit and sometimes there's kind of a radar. So I know some places where I can try to, to drive full speed, but... Um, um, I need to figure that out, you know, uh, I have one more match to go, it's probably the, the most difficult and uh, if eventually it happens, I, I win it, then I need to figure out how to get the card there, first of all. Somebody will help you, I believe me, yes. Yeah, okay, great, and then, 
yeah, I will enjoy um, driving around that beautiful city. Well, we certainly enjoyed your semi-finals. Looking very much forward to the finals. Congratulations again. You are in the finals. Kristina Mladenovic. Well, you can understand. She's completely buzzing, isn't she? After that performance and that win. On a roll right now is Kristina Mladenovic. Took out the world number one, Angelique Kerber. In the second round, of course, went all the way to the semis of Indian Worlds. And that probably tops the lot of those recent wins against, uh, well, what was an inspired Maria Sharapova for a first, well, for a set and a half. Yes, Mladenovic really played nicely today. She didn't give up after the first set and, and a break. And like she said, it was it was only one one break in the first set. Uh, made quite a lot of double faults, but uh, she had to put more more uh, more speed on her serves because Sharapova was pressing on the returns. Uh, basically, she just won two, 100, 100 points, and Sharapova won 18, uh, 98, two two more points than Sharapova. So we can see it was an extremely close match. But uh, all the credit really today for Tumla Denovic, she played great. Yes, and through to a third final of the year already. Already uh, won in St. Petersburg, was runner-up in Acapulco. And now we'll be in this Stuttgart final. She'll face the winner of the match, which is next up on centre court. And in a few moments' time, Simona Halep taking on uh, Laura Siegmund of Germany. Join us if you can for that one.